Welcome back to Time with Heather. It looks like you're going to be stuck with me for a while. So, now, when Quentin had just finished, or was working on class player here, it looks like. So, um, we're going to work on that and finish that up. And I'm a bit of a newbie at this yet, so I'm going to have to have some help. Hey, Marty! I need some help! Hello? Hey, hello? What you need? Um, I can't remember how to do the class player. Alright, um, I can see there's a problem with the init function. Okay. There needs to be two underscores at the beginning of init and at the end of init. And okay. that's just because that's the way that it reads init. Initiate, okay. Yeah. Alright. All right, all right. That 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 will be fine for now. So you want to make a new a new function in the player class. Okay. So self dot right. Start with self dot. No, or... just back backspace, and click. Click. I mean type. <laughs> type um, define update. Define update. Should that be self dot update? No, just update. Okay, and then. Open close and pull in, right? Yep. So I thought there is just it's got the init function, which is basically it just like ba sets some basic things for the player. Then the update is the, how the player moves and stuff like that. All right. So next after that, well for now we'll just leave, just go enter. All right. And type pass. Pass. All right, and now that, that just ignores whatever is going on there. So we're just gonna test it out in our main loop. So we want to go back up to the main loop. Which is main, right? Yep. Okay, and then above, right there, above while. Okay. Yeah, tab. You want to go player equals. Player equals. And then um, player open close parentheses. Player open close parentheses. And the reason we do that is we make a new variable called player simply because it's easier. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. Alright. Alright, so then we would go what in your while one loop. Yeah. So below here. Wait. Yeah, after timer dot tick. So before screen, right? Yep. Then write player dot update. Player dot Oh, okay. Alright, and run that. Hmm. Local player, variable player reference before assign. Alright. Close up. Oh, we. You need to have player to update and open close parentheses. After. Oh! Okay. Alright, give that a run. No, no, same thing. Uh, eh. Okay, we are having a slight issue here. I am just <laughs> thinking of what. Um, Do you remember? Oh song? yeah, that's right. Um, that's right. It is saying because you see the class player is named the same thing as our variable player, so we're gonna have to name player something different because well, it makes the variables collide and. So gopher, name it gopher, yeah, right? Just name it gopher. Okay. Equals uh, yep. player? Yeah, and then just change that there to gopher dot update. Alright. Alright, so now we will want to get a class called entity. So make a new class above player. Above player, okay. And also class, right? Yep. Yeah. Entity, which is ENTY? No. ENT. 
T I T Y. Okay. Open close parentheses. And cool, right? Yeah, and then inside the parentheses, type object because it's an object. Ob object. Yep. And then, uh, yeah. After that, go define in it. Define it. double underscore in it. In it. And then open close parentheses. And then go press enter. Self dot object. Self dot object. <laughs> Eject equals equals pi game pi game dot dot sprite sprite dot group group open and close parentheses. All right, and I'm pretty sure that that's how it's done. Check it out. Or um, yeah, well let's just test it. All right, so in the player class. In the Player class, okay. Yeah, you want to in the player class param parameters. Yeah. You want to say entity because the and player class is an entity, which is a sprite. T. In in it, so you need to type self. Self. Yeah. See if that works. Yep. All right. All right. <sighs> player is no object attribute. <laughs> okay, image. we are getting somewhere. All right. <laughs> Okay, that's right. So you have to go self dot image right here. Yep. Self dot image equals just say zero for now because we haven't got an image yet. All right. Okay. All right. So what this city here is, we've got our player class, we've got our entity class. And the entry class is sprite, so that makes a player a sprite. So that's kind of what all that is. Okay. So run that. The sprite is the image, right? Yeah. The sprite is like your little guy, your little duper. It's called a sprite. Yeah. Okay. All right. So give that a run. All right. Oh, that's right. We are missing a equals after the dot dot rect. You need to write equals. Equals put the parentheses up, right? Yep, just like that. Run that. <sighs> Change that to pass. Wait, never mind. Pass doesn't work. False. Yeah, false. Just false for now. Class. False. Bool object is no uh, yeah because false is a boolean whatever the heck a boolean is but it's just called a boolean because that's just the way <laughs> what they called it um so. just comment all that out for now we will deal with that in the next video <laughs> just comment here comment all of that out okay you just select it all well it's a shortcut you just select everything yeah. and then you press alt three so um. Alt three. Yeah, and you see. Oh, uh, okay, that's all right. A little shortcut, and then to undo that, if you wanted to, it would be Alt four. So then Alt four. Whoops. Alt four. And then I gotta take out mine. There we go. All right. Okay, so we have learned a lot today. <laughs> Class dismissed. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, what time is it? Seven forty. Yeah, I am getting sleepy. But. Late night coding. Okay, let's see here. 